past lunar eclipse. Let's uh, model up five places when the lunar eclipse uh, start. I have here uh, Lima, Peru, Amsterdam, Holland, Kemi, Finland, Fairbanks, Alaska, and Baton Rouge uh, in the USA. So I have all the times uh, when the Lunar Eclipse starts. All those angles, the azimuths. I uh, put this in a model. And I also uh, put the sun uh, directions in. And so we model up the moon and the sun when the lunar eclipse uh, starts. And uh, you can easily make a mistake uh, with this by uh, selecting the day. Because this uh, lunar eclipse uh, is spread over uh, two days in some places. On uh, two dates, I mean. But uh, that error uh, is not uh, so bad because uh, there is only uh, one third of a degree uh, difference in the next day, 24 hours later. Here, this is uh, January 20. Let's go to 21. This is 24 hours later, so this is one third of a degree uh, less. Let's go back a day. This was uh, 2, 32 and 12. And this was uh, 2, 31, 8, 4. So there's only one third of a degree uh, difference. And that was uh, also the case in uh, the other uh, places. So mo let's model this up. I have here the lunar eclipse in uh, Lima, of course. And uh, when the lunar eclipse started, it had an uh, azimuth of 50. And the sun had an azimuth of uh, 231. The sun, 231 about. And this was uh, 50. Let's check it again. 231 for the sun. And 50 for the moon. So that's correct. This uh, sun travels over the uh, Tropic of Capricorn in uh, January or uh, a little bit above. They uh, tell us. So, the, when this is the sun direction, I have to uh, keep it in those lines just above the Tropic of uh, Capricorn. Yeah, I cannot uh, go anywhere else, of course. I must uh, stay here. So, how do we do that? So it's dark here with the sun uh, above you and having a lunar eclipse. Yeah, right. And uh, I modeled up all those uh, other uh, places. At the O direction, the zero direction uh, to the north for all uh, those places. And did all the moon and sun angles. Look at this. How does this uh, work? And when the lunar eclipse ends, that sun is uh, back to its spot. It didn't move. Let's uh, check this. So let's see when this uh, lunar eclipse ends. On January uh, 21, it ends, and then uh, the time is to uh, 
48 and the angle is 312 so I have to go to the January 21 on 248 and then it had an AC motor of 130 so I have 130 and 312 and 130 so and again uh, with this uh, so I can uh, not do much of course I must uh, keep this angle just above the uh, Tropic of uh, Capricorn and look all those uh, suns here is this uh, triangulation or so? <laughs> So, for example, this uh, sun here in uh, Baton Rouge with this angle and then end up here. So this goes uh, totally around. <laughs> no way. This is a three quarter of a circle. Cannot happen. And those are two suns here for Finland and Holland. They end up here. This sun uh, end up here. It's totally retarded. How do we do that? And how do we model this up on the globe? It's impossible to model this up on the globe. Because globers don't use a globe to measure those angles. Even uh, when you're upside down and you want to uh, measure the angles of the sun on the globe you uh, create a straight level horizontal plane without being uh, upside down yippee yippee gravity yippee so isn't that a little bit uh, false So, when you're using uh, this, then uh, model up uh, those angles I just point out with the sun and moon. And it doesn't matter where you are on the bottom of the globe or the top of the globe. The azimuth direction always goes in the same. Uh, direction always the same direction you should expect uh, it would be uh, the opposite when you're on the bottom of a globe but no, the, all those po programs are based on a flat level plane not on a globe so can a smart baller uh, model this up? Or uh, a very smart uh, flat earther? Like uh, wakey wakey, wacko wacko. Come here, let's model it up together. Let's have some fun. Why we didn't have a, a lunar eclipse? previous day 
24 hours earlier on January 20. Let's see. It's uh, azimuth and altitude. And then I go back to January uh, 20. Let's compare this. So let's compare those uh, two. Let me get uh, rid of this. So January 20, no lunar eclipse. And January 21, we have this lunar eclipse. There is only seconds in between. Look the altitude. It's 0.19 uh, degrees difference. And azimuth is 15. 0.15 degrees difference. That's a little bit uh, strange. A lunar eclipse uh, depends on those uh, small numbers. Don't you think so, ballers? Look at this. <laughs> it's impossible to not have a lunar eclipse on this date also. Let me check uh, January... Uh, 22nd This is difference is nothing Sunrise 558, 557, 557. It's like uh, 31 uh, seconds uh, between. It looks like uh, the sunrise changes with uh, 30 seconds. Sunset, four seconds difference only. There's only six seconds of sunset uh, difference in the uh, two days. And this lunar eclipse uh, depends on those uh, small numbers. No way.